small disclaimer before we begin. I am not a K-pop stan. I don't watch personal group content. I casually listen to music and watch performances for the choreography and fun stages. I'm not judging idols as people or their personal involvement with their other members. I am simply judging idols' skills, singing, dancing, rapping and stage presence, in comparison to the other members of their group. If you get mad about this, it ain't my problem. I'm not talking about people's personality or worth as humans. I am only judging their work performance like any other employed people would be judged on their skills at their job. You can be mad in the comments if you want. Just know it won't bother me and I won't be responding to any pissed off people who can't read and understand this disclaimer or my freedom to judge a celebrity's work. Luna have 12 members, which is already so many people all put into one group and sharing songs that are roughly 3 minutes and 30 seconds long. Which obviously means a few people will get just a couple seconds worth of lines and screen time. Vivi, Gowan, and Yo Jin are in my opinion the least talented and versatile in Luna. They all have the weakest vocals, they're very nasal, pitchy. Arian can't sustain notes well. They're also not rappers, and whenever they have rap like lines, for lack of a better term, they just talk in a high pitched tone. That's not rapping. Moreover, whenever they do have lines, Vivi and Go One almost always only sing ad libs of one or two words. Of course, since they're in Luna, they're fine dancers. And they can perform the choreography generally well. But in a group of 12, with some incredibly talented people who are all-rounders like Eve, Heejin, Kim Lip, and Hasul, being just fine isn't sustainable and leaves you overshadowed. And since they're not great singers or rappers, they get even fewer lines than other members who have slightly better vocals, like Hyun Jin. So when you add it all up, them being the weakest vocalists, not particularly special dancers and not rappers, it makes sense why they get barely any lines. And no lines means no opportunities for growth in the group and no opportunities to showcase their improvement in singing, dancing or rapping if there is any being made privately. I actually had so much trouble finding a fan cam of Vivi that wasn't by Music Bank and I had to watch 4 music videos to get a clip of Gowen that's more than 3 seconds. The only one I could find was Star's music video, and that's a B-side track. That poor girl. Of course, this is not to say that any of these girls is completely talentless. Like I said at the beginning of this video and when I started talking about Luna, they're all good dancers and I think if they were in a smaller group, they would all be decent vocalists with more lines and screen time, leading to more growth opportunities. Unfortunately, in Luna, they're overshadowed by girls with much better vocals, rap skills and dancing abilities. I'm not aware of any Luna subunits since I'm not a dedicated K-pop fan. I only casually listen to music and watch performances. But I think having any of these girls in a smaller subunit would allow them to better their vocals and stage presence significantly. Classic. Let me just start by saying I think NCT's concept is incredibly stupid and will be their downfall in the long term, and it's all greedy SM's fault. No group should have 23 members, it's ridiculous on its own, but infinitely adding new members when the existing ones get like 3 lines per album is just stupid, period. I was also going to add the second member who joined NCT in 2020. If I'm not mistaken there were two who joined at the same time. But I deadass couldn't remember his name or even recognize him so that should tell you everything you need to know. In my opinion, every NCT unit before 2020 had just the right amount of members. 
with the exception of NCT-127, all the units had adequate line distributions, but obviously not perfect or fair. I think Dream had the fairest line distribution and also some iconic bops. So SM adding new members to already packed units overflowing with idols just makes no sense. I don't know what SM's end goal is, since most members are already young, I guess they just wanna have doubles to immediately tap in once the original members get older and leave. But again that's just stupid, because it's not like fans have the memory span of a goldfish and will forget about the original NCT members if SM adds 20 new ones. So it's even more stupid to me when these new members, like Sung Chan, aren't on the same level of the original NCT members. He's not as good a rapper as Mark, Taeyong, Jeno etc. He's not a particularly good vocalist. He's just average and definitely not better than Taeyil, Do Young, Hai Chen, Kun etc. He's not that good of a dancer either, he's average as well. What does he add to the group? Why was his addition to NCT necessary in any way? He replaces no one and adds nothing new. In some ways, this is pretty similar to Luna's situation. There were already members in NCT that are somewhat overshadowed by others, but they've been here from the beginning and have visibly improved like Win Win for example. If he were in a smaller group of less than 23 people, I think Sung Chan would actually be one of the better members. Unlike the past few people I've spoken about, I think Shi Hua is actually a good vocalist. She's not great or amazing, but I do like the cadence of her voice, and I think if she gets more proper vocal training, she could become a main vocalist in another group. However, there are such strong performers in G-Idol. Everyone except Shi Hua has incredible stage presence and charisma. In my opinion, she was not that amazing of a dancer compared to the other members and she's not on the same level of the other performers. That's not to say she's a boring performer, but when compared to the other members, she's easily forgettable to me. We can all agree she's not a rapper and definitely not as skilled as So Yin, who's not amazing Lamao, but that's another video topic. She's also not as good a vocalist as Minnie or Mi Yin, and even Wu Gi has a much more interesting vocal tone, I believe Wu Gi is the only mezzo-soprano in the group. All in all, since she's the least vocally skilled member in the group, she's not a standout dancer, she's not a rapper and she's the least impressive performer. It's my opinion that Shi Hua is an unnecessary member. I think she could be a main vocalist and a better performer by comparison if she wasn't getting eaten up by her members and was in a weaker group. I hesitated about adding Giselle, because Espa is such a small group, but I couldn't completely justify not putting her in this video. Anyway, it's my opinion and it's not like my dumb little YouTube video will get her fired. I think we can all agree Giselle is the weakest member in the group, and that Karina, Ning Ning, and Winter are all incredibly versatile artists. They can all sing beautifully, especially Ning Ning and Winter. They can all rap skillfully as well, and they're all enchanting performers. However, I feel like Giselle falls pretty short compared to her all-rounded members. It's my opinion that her voice is the weakest and often shrill which I find obviously unattractive. She often falls pitchy and nasal. Her voice is inconsistent, her lines have little to no closure, and she has trouble sustaining basic notes. I only started listening to Espa this June of 2022, so I was surprised to find that even in Savage, their most rap-heavy title, Giselle still gets eaten up by the other members. I was expecting her to be the best rapper in the group and she was evidently not, in my opinion. I couldn't get over how nasal and shrill her voice is in Savage, 
it was like nails on a board. It also made more sense to me why she has the least lines and why I barely noticed her during Black Mamba. Other than her vocals, I don't think she's a solid performer either. Watching a few of their shows, I find she has the most stagnant expressions and my eyes were always sliding off of her to more engaging performers. That could be from a lack of experience since Espa is only a year old group, but the argument can be made that the other members, with the exception of Karina, have also only been performing stages this size for a year and they are much more interesting to watch. When it comes to dance, I don't believe any of the members have shown a particular prowess. Ispa's choreographies are on the simpler side and I'm not aware of any dance covers they've made using more difficult choreographies, so I can't say if Giselle is the weakest dancer in the group. She does the choreographies well enough like the other members. All in all, I do stand by my opinion that Giselle's the weakest in the group and her absence from it wouldn't change much since the other members have shown they are more skilled in singing. Rapping and performance of anything, I think their shows would be more dynamic. As they're still a young group, I still have hope Giselle will improve. Also I just found out she mouthed along to the n-word on camera and then only apologized when she got caught, leading my black ass to wonder how many times she's flat out sung it in private and didn't care because there weren't cameras. Nasty behavior, throw the whole girl out. This one is just a joke LMAO. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. I literally just found out about this group yesterday and I thought it would be hilarious. No one asked, but I think their debut song is so good and I was really into it. Then I saw Sakura is in it and I liked her on Produce all those years ago, so I looked into the group. Imagine my surprise to see what's been going on lol. Obviously, it's been proven Garam is unnecessary in this group. That's it for this video, I hope you liked it, but if you didn't, that's cool too. I haven't uploaded on this channel for like two and a half years now, and I'm just recently getting back into it, but I will not be posting mostly K-pop since I have other interests I like more. Once in a while I'll post something casual about the girl groups whose music I listen to. So if you're into that, subscribe and comment and all that jazz.